Um, we've got a super chat here from Jack Kinecki, a member for 12 months, people. Jack yes, Kinecki, Jack. big up. And he says, what a performance by the lads. Seeing Winks, Delhi, Davis, etc. playing well shows Conte can turn water into wine. Thanks for your hard work, boys. And, you know, he's calling Davies water uh, turning into wine. I'm sure the next caller will have something very different to say <laughs> about that. And that is Mr. Ariane, Mr. Ben Davies FC. I mean, yes, sir. Out of everyone, Ariane, you have to be the guy that is most oh. on top of the world with what is going on with Ben Davis right now. Man, for the first time in 16 Premier League games at the hands of Benjamin Thomas Davies, Mo Salah <laughs> without a goal or assist. I love that. Without a goal or assist, okay? And I'm taking credit for that. I captain on my FPL team, guys. I'm out of the match. I get a drink Mo Salah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely Isaac, unreal, man. Conte has turned him into what a monster, man. Even I don't know how this has happened. I've been for two years. This guy has been my profile picture on Twitter, and I have gone flamed for it, left, right, and center. <laughs> and now, and now, someone can't roast me for it, and it's the greatest feeling ever. You guys have absolutely no idea. Arian, though, absolutely no idea. For reals, though, in the past, though, what what was it that you saw in Ben Davies? Because it was you have to admit it was hard. It was hard for a while. It was. He was out of position. Was, was he wasn't really. Man. Yeah. What did you see but, in him? How did you still? How, how did you? Can, how did you believe? Like, there's a player here. Like, there, do you guys want to know the player. honest answer? I don't think I've told anybody this. Yes, please. I wear the same number. I wear the same number. That's all there is to it. What, I wear the same number. 33. I wear 33, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't wow. know what my jersey is right now, but I wear 33. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all there is to it for so many years. And I've developed oh, this man. love for him over a period of time. And then I have to defend him. Like, it's just my duty. Do you play, do you play in the same tonight. position? Do you play no, in the same position? Oh, okay. Oh, so no, I, think, I was no, thinking no, no. that you understood what he was going through being a left back who's out of position. No. I mean, well, I look, Ariane, it's a shame. Right back. It's a shame they didn't give you the number eight shirt because Harry Winks today. I mean, what happened well, to him was, today? He was unreal. I don't even know, man. He, he was giving these passes over the top. Like, yeah. It, it was. Do you guys remember how shit he was against Everton in the FA Cup? Last yeah, year. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the performance for me that I remember. We went 4-4. He came on. We scored four, and somehow he goes on, and we can't even get a sniff at their goal. Like, yeah. it was unbelievable how horrible he was. That performance to me was, like, the key of this is where he fell. And and now, he was he was great. He was probably our man of the match, I would give it. Yeah. Like, he was unbelievable. Yeah. And he gave so many passes over the top to Sonny, who I love the guy. Okay, and I defended him a lot. I, I do think some of his misses, people are like, like the one that Harry gave to him, on, you know, it was in the air. It's it's still difficult. Yeah, should he put it on target? Probably. But, you know, he's human. And he's, score, mm -hmm. he's our top scorer. I'm not going to hold it against him. It's against Liverpool. We have this curse against Liverpool. But we just cannot seem to score easy chances. Yeah. So, it like, look, it is what it is. Um, and it happens, and then, you know, he made up for it with a brilliant pass to Delhi, who, you know, yeah. pro again, probably should have scored. And I, I was defending him for that, too, because people are saying, oh, you know, he, he should, you guys said it, he should have hit it on the left side. But, yeah, he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but let's be realistic, it's Liverpool. How much time does he really have to pick his spot while the ball, you know, he can't he can't take a touch and pick his spot. He has to hit it first time. He it should be in instinct, spot. though. It should be instinct. It should be instinct. But instinct look, for a player who's playing all the time. and Exactly. And he's got so much on the world on him. He's got like the world on his shoulders. Like, I'm Dele Alli. Right. Like, I, I need this to go in so badly, yeah. you know? I think like, trying too hard. Yeah, yeah he's trying it's too hard. It's not the easiest chance in the world. And, you know, you ask what position I play. I play a striker, and I've missed sitters before, and I know how it feels, oh, and I know horrible, the pressure yeah. he's feeling. It's, yeah. it's terrible. I honestly would rather, basically, I'd rather be sprinting at the goal with a defender on me than have an easy chance. I would, because an easy chance is almost harder to mess up with how much pressure is on you. You're Wait a second, Ariane. Wait a second, Ariane. What, what sort of striker wears number 33? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Someone who's yeah, not in the got, team? <laughs> I kind of got given it. I'm, okay, the, the story on how I got the number is like, like I was I was a freshman in high school. I just got this number because I don't get a pick. I'm a freshman in high school. And then ever since then, I've kind of just worn it. Like even when I had a choice, I picked 33. It is what it is. So get it. Get it. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's on the number. But man, the game was great. 
I'm happy with the game, man. This is, is, it, is, it, is it more? Is it more the performance today or the result that's really made you that happy? Both, because look, this is every perform. Like, okay, performance-wise, as in like a broad statement, we outplay Liverpool, and we miss 57 chances, and we don't take the win. That's happened how like how many games in a row now? Yeah. So the fact that we got the draw this time breaks the pattern. And finally, we can actually have some confidence going into the game. Seven games we've gone without a win. With, with, with all losses, actually. Last time we beat Liverpool was the 4-1. Or yeah. didn't lose against Liverpool. That's the last time. So to get the draw is a positive. And to have a performance against Liverpool where they were lucky, they scraped the draw. That's more mm. positive because they're the most informed team probably in the Premier League, probably in the world right now. And they they escaped they escaped with a point against the mighty Tottenham Hotspur, the trophyless <laughs> trophyless Spurs. Everyone everyone says that, but they escaped with a point. They barely got out, and that's yeah, you, massive. You, you have like the ma ma a kind of massive tactician and and the kind of the daddy of all daddies. You know, of course, that, <laughs> you have a great um, kind of Conte on our side against Klopp. And when's the first, this has to be the first time you've seen Klopp in the last 20 minutes of a game taking off. I mean, sure, they've got a red, so they have to kind of manage things. But surely you, he has the confidence in his team to push, you know, to keep going forward and try and get the little... Hey, know, man, it's not every day you get, to, you get to possibly take a point from Daddy Conte. He's got he's to <laughs> hold it. He's got to hold it. <laughs> but, but we look to be threatening more than them. And so it's like we forced the hand of Klopp to go, no, let's put mm -hmm. a defender on. Let's, let's protect here, you know? That's, that's yep. huge for us, I think. The, Ariane, yeah. does this, does this um, performance send a message to the rest of the Premier League in, search, in terms of the top four race? Of course it does. If we win our games in hand, we're, f we're three points clear at the top four. If we win our games in hand. And who do yeah. we have? We have Burnley, we have Brighton, and yeah, Leicester's going to be, you know, maybe a tough game depending on whenever we get them and who they have back in and not in the side. But, you know, it, it don't, of course it sends a message. We Everyone thought we were down and out of the Premier League race, you know, after our three losses under Nuno. And now we've come in under Conte, we've got our best center back out until maybe March. And let's not forget, we are 13 days from a transfer window with Don Paratici at the helm. Okay, yeah. let's not forget. What is it, five this, games unbeaten? Four, four or five games unbeaten? Yes, Conte's uh, been here for four Premier League games, right? Or, or is that the fifth? We're Leeds, Everton, Norwich, Brentford, Liverpool, and Brentford. Brentford. That's five. Yeah, yeah, yeah five. that's five games unbeaten. It's a five, and... That's a five game unbeaten run. <laughs> we're, yep. we're, we're taking this. <laughs> of course, we're taking it. And who do we have next? West Ham on Thursday, right? So West Ham um, on Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday or Thursday? Okay, Wednesday, well, regardless, is, yeah. that's a big one. You know, it's a big one. Half their back line is out. I don't know if they're still going to be out by the time we have, um, you know, our game. But you know, with the, if we can finish a little bit better and keep the same energy, then if we can beat Liverpool, what the hell? <laughs> West and not only that, <laughs> this was a, a COVID ravaged Tottenham. This was yeah. a yeah. COVID ravaged Tottenham yeah. that hardly of them have even <laughs> trained over the last week. Exactly. Like people are going to say, oh, were you not, Arian, were you not coming into this game going, <sighs> what, what's going to happen? I was my pants. <laughs> two, two, two minutes in and they had, what, two chances, yeah. a shot on target. I was... I was about to like, yeah. I don't even know. I was about to have a heart attack. The fact it's that we scored bad. first, I was, it was unreal. I like, I told my dad we're losing. I was like, no, we're losing. I just want to see how much we can stretch it. I said, I said, this is going to be exactly like it's going to go. We're going to get a goal after getting battered, which was exactly it. You know, we were getting battered. We got to go off a counter attack. They equalized and they went to one up. I said, this is exactly the script, but we broke it. We broke it. We equalized. Allison, that guy, oh, he was a brick wall today, some of his saves. But he yeah. made the mistake. It was overdue, okay? And finally, we were able to get back on level. And we should have won that game. And I mm -hmm. said, finally, we were able to break the script. I'm so happy. The day, the, the day prior, I was like, I'm going to wake up at 7 in the morning. And I know for a fact that I, I, I was convinced we were losing. I, I was convinced. I was like, this is going to happen. If I had to bet yeah. money, I would say 2-1 Liverpool. But I'm so freaking happy. That's why I said it's not two points lost. It is definitely 100,000% a point gained. I was looking at the Premier League table with four games in hand. And I was saying, what if we have nine points out of these games? Not not 12. I was saying, what if we get nine? Okay, because I was like, okay, there's a Liverpool game. It's, it's a write-off. Yeah, but yeah. no. We it, was were able, we it was a free hit today. It was a free hit today, Ariane. It was a complete free hit today.
Exactly. COVID written first game back against Liverpool when I even match fit and we get a point. It's unreal. Even it's the teams unreal. even the teams who have got points against Liverpool, they've not come out of the game with like sixty five percent possession we over beat them. them on XG. Who you beats know, Liverpool on XG? XG. They all the teams that have gotten a positive result against Liverpool, bar Man City, have scraped it. They yeah. have scraped it. Yeah. This time Liverpool scraped it. Yeah. That's the difference. Liverpool came out thanking God that they got a point. May except Jurgen Klopp, he's crying about a lot of referee decisions, but I don't care. You know, he can do whatever he wants. He, he has a habit of doing that every time he loses. But wasn't yeah. he the guy that blamed the rain? <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, he blamed the rain like yeah, 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 or something. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's what it is. Like, I don't, you know. Well, he was we saying that, that. He, he was saying like uh, it's it's ridiculous that we you know that we get put in these positions having to play with the, you know you're talking about playing a team of a Spurs team who had 13 players out with COVID like wait, what's wrong? Who did with they you? have out? Like they had a, they had Thiago out, Van Dijk out, and like not, m like seriously, who else do they have? We had we have Romero out on injury. I'm not I'm not on COVID, but on injury. Yeah. Our starting two midfielders and uh, not in double, uh, Hoybia and Skip both out. Lucas yeah. Mora out. Regulon out. Yeah. Son like, what coming are you back. About? Yeah. Son just came back. Like he tested Players the positive like, what, back. two days yeah. ago. Like yeah. it's well, I don't know what he's complaining about. It's so weird. So, yeah. you know, again, it, it's it's Klopp. You know, he, he's a great guy, great manager, but he loves to cry when he loses. It's unbelievable. So yeah. and how good yeah. how amazing it is that to kind of see him in an, in an interview after the game kind of like looking like he lost. <laughs> Look at like he lost excuses? the game. Oh, it's it was, lovely. By the way, it's brother, amazing. it was it was two two. You didn't lose, but yeah. it, for him, he was like he's crying like he lost the game, and that it that felt feels, like a loss. That feels he good. knows. He and knows we're felt, dangerous. Yeah, it felt like a win for us. Oh, of course it did. Of course it did against Liverpool, Spurs, Liverpool. That always ended in Liverpool. Like, I got those seven so, games in a row in all competitions we had lost to them, and so we here, finally didn't. So here's the hard questions though, with the performances that you saw, two players. Winks and Delhi, do you do you uh, in January? Do you think uh, keep them both because of what they've shown, or do you say, look, that's probably good for them to get little transfers away now? I th I want I think Winks can stay. Uh, I've been, Ooh, like, Winks, Winks can stay <laughs> because the thing is, this isn't Winks's first performance under Conte that was good. Yeah, we've yeah. had like six games under Conte. Uh, I'm thinking of that like you know cameo against Vitesse still. Um, where Second he was half unreal, against Leeds, right? Leeds he was really good. Second as well. half against Leeds, he's been good. I, and I'm gonna say Jury's out on Delhi because like well, this is the first game we've seen under Conte. I don't know. Okay, I, yeah. I, don't, I I don't have enough on Delhi, but I think Winks has shown enough where at worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, he is absolutely not a bad player to keep in the reserves. In the worst case, mm -hmm. okay, and I think there's value in that. Because do you, do you been, think we the, no. we, we, we probably want to get a midfielder in? So if it is that case that we probably want to get a midfielder in, or do you think do we need to get a midfielder in there? You got to remember the homegrown quota quota as well. So if we still win, we'd have That's to right? right. We'd have yeah, to replace him true. with what? Maybe James uh, Ward Prowse, homegrown player, or then get yeah James. Ward Prowse. And you know, is that you know, is it worth even if he is an upgrade? Which I'm not even sure he is. But the age he is. and everything. Come on. Ward Prowse is for his, an upgrade for his, for his free kicks for because we don't for have a, yeah, a free yeah. We do need a happy specialist yeah. to be fair. But yeah. even then, like you know, he's he's he's. How old is he? Like 29? Free kick specialist. Don't we have Harvey White coming through? Of course, man. We got Harry Kane, man. I tell, you what, I, I tell you what, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the amount of free kicks we win, if we just had a, a specialist, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. I mean, we had Bale in, and like, what did he do? Yeah. yeah. To be fair. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Right, so... Yeah. He hit the bar like, once, I think. Yeah, like... Yeah, and we had, you know, we've had Dyer, who's you know surprisingly all right at free kicks, and he's he's done all right, I guess. He's better than Harry Kane, that's for sure. Yeah, he's better than I mean, look, Kane is still living off of that one free kick against Aston Villa. That was shit, anyway. I don't understand that hit how the he wall thinks and he's... went in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. the biggest deflection I've ever seen. I'm, I'm, I don't even know how that wasn't given as an own goal, but yeah. like, <laughs> so I don't know how he's still living off of that, but. But it do you think do you think do you think we have a strong team now? Or from this you can get a two two with Liverpool on the form they're in. Do you think we have a strong team now going forward? Or do you think we we need some a lot we need more. We need we need a, we need more to compete for, for, to get this top four. And Both we're talking about true. we're talking about Arsenal and Man U, right? This is what the battle is gonna be against. We're not talking about Arsenal. We're talking about man, you know, we're talking <laughs> about the other team. We're talking about the teams that have a chance at top four. So um, <laughs> We, you know, 
Do we have a strong team? Do we need reinforcement? I mean, both can be true, of course. So, you know, we have a little bit of a problem, in, I would say, in the defense. I think we still need to get someone, um, not because what? the defense is bad necessarily, and with Romero out, the, even the fact that we have room to upgrade is unreal. But out of these three, Sanchez, Tanganga, uh, Sanchez, Dyer, and Davis. God forbid they they you know, they can't play a couple of games. Yeah, yeah. We're done. Especially God, God Davis, forbid you have to give. Side. God forbid you have to give Joe Roden a game. But look, but Ariane, <laughs> Ariane, look. Let's be honest. We all said the same about Deli Ali. We said the same about Harry Winks. We've said the same about many a player. So why can't Conte uh, get these other players to step up? Um, what do you mean? We've said the same about Harry Winks, right? That, you know, he's he's flogging a dead horse. He's come in today and right. played very well. We've said the same mm. about Deli Ali, you know, we're flogging a dead horse. He's come in today and played very well. So why mm -hmm. can't Tanganga step up? Why can't a Joe Roden step up under Conte? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know about Joe Roden, but Tanganga's had like what is three games under Conte and he's you know, he's been all right. Maybe he can cover against a Norwich, uh, you know, even let's give him a little yeah. bit more credit, you know, someone like a Crystal Palace. But do you trust, you, would you trust Tanganga in Emerson's position today against Liverpool? No, no, no. That, that, that's the thing. Would you, do you, you don't you want a 60, a 60 million player as a backup, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah would you, would you yeah. trust Doherty in against Liverpool today? No, no, right? If yeah. one of them gets hurt, God forbid, we're done. We're, yeah. we're going to be in yeah. serious trouble. So we need some reinforcement on the back. Midfield, do we have enough bodies? Yes. Do we have enough reinforcement? Like, skill-wise? Probably not. Mm -hmm. You know, we... Normally, today, we actually had a lot of good incisive passes, probably from Harry Winks, but we don't have that every game. It's been an ongoing problem. We need someone who can break the lines more consistently. Hopefully, we can get one of those in. Striker, back up to Harry Kane. We've been saying it for, like, five years yeah, now. Of course. We need I mean, somebody these are, yeah, who can yeah. come in for Kane. So we need reinforcements, particularly for competition. Competition yeah, yeah. is key in the squad, and we don't have enough of that just yet. So hopefully yeah. Don Paratici can hook us up in the January window, okay? And we are going to be serious, and we're going to be able to brush off. Because well, who, who's in the top four race right now? We've got us, Liverpool, uh, United, City, uh, Chelsea. Have I said Chelsea? <laughs> Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's five, right? And, you know, West Ham were on good form. I don't know if they're going to be able to carry it on with a lot of the injuries they have. So that's like, what, six and a half teams if you want to count Arsenal and the fact that they can beat relegation teams, right? You know, I, you know what, Martinelli has scored in like two games against Leeds and fucking Watford or whatever. I don't even know. It's like... <laughs> West Ham it's not, was, wasn't it? West, West, yeah, West Ham with half their back line in the hospital. So, yeah, like, oh man. Yeah. Look, I, I completely agree with you. I call it Arsenal propaganda. And don't anyone exactly. ever buy into the Arsenal propaganda because it always Never. falls back on its face. Always. Never. They're going to be so, lucky to finish conference league. So you think... Saying it right now. So, so, <laughs> classic. But you, so you think um, it's not a case of like bringing in quality to make our first team like you know, title challenging worthy for next season? Or you think get through this season by bringing in some reinforcements for positions that we already have that we need a little bit touch up or we need we need to protect in case we have uh, injuries? That's the priority right now. Look, I'm not going to say no to a starter. I don't think anyone is. But I think the priority right now is because the real, look, realistically, it's this team can probably, if hopefully we can carry on with some reinforcement, get top four. I would rather spend, you know, I would rather spend, you know, 30 million on three or four players like, you know, each to, you know, be able to come and rotate in, maybe even start a few games and then be covering private competition than I would spending 80 million for one position right now. Mm. That's good. Not even for like a, for like a striker, like a world-class striker. We have a world-class striker. But if you can get a, a Vlahovic for 70 million or something like that, or a, or a striker like that who can like... Who can really do the job? Do you, or do you think that would, like that would probably the thing is because striker is probably our number one position that we really need yeah. cover for. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, right, and you know provides competition, so mm -hmm. it does that. And the thing is, if you want to provide competition to Harry Kane, you need someone who can score twenty yeah. goals a season. You don't yeah, need yeah, Carlos yeah. Vinicius, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's pulling out on PSV, mate. Absolutely pulling yeah, out yeah. in the Eredivisie. Okay, so was Bergwijn. So, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, so yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. Hey, you know, don't Syria, sleep on, don't sleep on Stevie B, my friend. The Conte effect is coming. 
I'm not, you know, I haven't seen it yet. If I see it, I'll shut up, but I haven't seen it yet. So, um, you know, he had that one moment under Nuno against Wolves. He's, that was nice I mean, on the touchline. But yeah, other than that, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ariane. Yeah, Ariane, Ariane. I'm happy. Thanks for coming on, my friend. Hopefully, Ben Davis keeps going from strength to strength. Um, and Best center back in the world right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see you very soon. Always a pleasure to speak to you, man. All right, guys. And before I go, come on, you Spurs! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs>